No one cares about us. You know, all this is happening around us and no one's blinked an eye. Nationally, you know, things are happening so fast, uh, you know, that no one really cares. If our golf starts turning and we get a disturbance and in August, which is right around the corner, we have a hurricane that pops up and this is gonna be an active hurricane season from what we've heard. And none of that has been cleaned up, if, if half of it's been cleaned up. And we get two or three feet of water that comes in here, that's brought in, it's gonna come to our community. So that literally means that all of this will be gone. We won't be able to live here anymore, seriously. All of my family pretty much are, are either in the uh, oil and gas industry or in the shrimping industry. Crabbers, fishermen, shrimpers, uh, oystermen, uh, so a wide slew of uh, those related to the water in, in here where we live. I'm born and raised in the Dulac community. Uh, I serve this area uh, representing them on the United Home Nation Tribal Council. We're pretty much fishermen, raised and born and live and eat and breathe on the water and on the land. And historically, this is sort of where we settled and were pushed when we were moved further south into this area and learned how to live off this land and learn how to cohabitate in a respectful relationship, I think, with Mother Nature. We produce 30% of the nation's uh, seafood. 30% uh, of the oil and gas comes from here, uh, but yet we don't, we don't see the benefits of it. You know, it's always amazing to drive down this road and see Halliburton, Exxon, see all these big oil companies down here. I can't even think of all of them. But it sort of, it makes our community feel like we're getting used. You know, it's almost like the land is getting raped underneath us and not being re-put back into us. OBP's response has, has pretty much been slow. Uh, they, they've come down, uh, we've had community meetings, several, they, they sent a representative down, and it's just uh, feel-good stories. But we don't need feel-good stories. We need to be told uh, what to expect uh, from, and, and, and you know, we, we need to know what they know. And if we have to pick up and move, that's, that's heartbreaking, you know. I have, a, I have a new child. If I have to think that she's not going to grow up the same way I did, that's really hard for me to swallow and to think that this all could have been prevented. These communities will, will probably uh, not exist the way we, we uh, know it today.